How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is going to be telling you how I think Huck can be fixed and improved. You guys leave a like, subscribe if you not already, on top of the video right now. First things first, I'm going to start with Hut Champs, okay? So Hut Champs right now, it's a very polarizing topic. For me, again, I think Hut Champs is probably the hardest mode to have success in because realistically Hut Champs is against everyone. You're going to be running into D1 players, D2... Obviously, the more you win, you'll be running into better players as well. So it can get very, very challenging, right? It's the hardest mode to win in, in my opinion. And the rewards, they just don't hold up. They just do not hold up. So what I, again, I'll give EA props. I love the fact the cards are back. I do. I love the fact the cards are back uh, in the rewards. That's amazing. You know, I'm, I'm glad the top 100 gets a higher overall. I think that's the way it should be. Um, 10 wins, of course, gets the lower overall version, 85 overall, but I'm going to tell you guys what my huge issue is. And my huge issue is the fact that one win, you get a Hut Champs mini pack, all right? One win is a Hut Champs mini pack, and that is the same reward, that is, guys, that is the exact same reward as if you finished 21 to 50. And that pack, guys, let me tell you, it's not good. A mini, a hot chance mini pack is trash. It's just not good enough. It's just not good enough at all. Hot champs, if you finish top 50 in the world, yes, I understand you get the card. But say, for example, if that card does not make your team, well, then what are you playing for? You're playing for nothing, essentially. You're playing for fun. Obviously, I get it. It's fun to play NHL, fun, fun, fun to play the video game. I'm not telling you that obviously you should only play for rewards, but you should be rewarded for your time and effort, and if you're good at the game, I do believe that. And even, let me go down to like nine wins, for example. Hot Champs Mega Pack, it's not good, guys. Realistically, if you can get to 10 wins, I would stop there most of the time because the packs aren't worth it. They're really not. Like, I mean, I understand, yeah, you have that slim chance of getting something, but getting one pack, and for the most part, it's all silver cards. If you're lucky, if you're really lucky, you'll get a gold card. It's just not good. And rank one Again, there's just no reason to really want rank one. The packs are not significantly better than any other pack. So that's that's where you really lose me. And they gotta gotta fix the champs rewards. You really, really do. There's just no no other way to say it. The rewards have to be fixed. Uh, I feel like you need to have have the packs be a little bit better, or maybe add a couple more packs. You know, people like opening packs, and right now that's just simply not a not a thing. Next up, we have rivals, guys. I feel like rivals right now. It doesn't really feel that important to win or lose. Yes, you get more XP for winning games in the higher division you're in, that's cool. But I think since there are no more rival rewards, as you can see, you have your daily objectives here, guys. What you could do is maybe add add like rewards, you know, to those daily objectives, right? That could be interesting to me. You know, I feel like that would make sense. You know, if they could actually like, have, like, specific, like, missions. Because I'm pretty sure Wildcard has that. I'm not sure if they can get that into Rivals. How Wildcard has, like, the win streak rewards. If you could have, like, win streak rewards in Rivals and it be repeatable, that could make it more intriguing. And it could scale up, you know, the reward or something. That'd be interesting. You know, that's just, a, that's just an idea. I feel like that'd be a cool idea. So, you know... I don't know. We'll, we'll see if, if that's something they consider. But I feel like Rivals has potential, you know, but it's, you know, you're just playing for XP right now. So, next up, I really do believe that you need to be able to earn XP while playing Hut Moments. Especially, think about how much time we probably spent in the Artemi Panarin Moments. And the fact we get no XP out of that, it's incredibly frustrating. You spend that much time doing something and you're not getting any XP towards the track and towards the 87 Eichel. To me, that's a really big mistake. And I think that has to be something they do try to add into the game. Because I feel like you need you need it. You really do. You need to have the XP in moments because, I mean, like I said, you're playing all these moments. You're spending that much time on the game. You should be getting rewards uh, for for that time, in my opinion. Guys, holograms do not upgrade monthly like they did in previous years. Like, Power of Icons used to get a plus one every month, a new tier unlocked. This year, it's based on whenever EA releases a new Gretzky card, a new Gordy Howe card. I believe they should bring back the monthly upgrades for the Icon card. So, for example, Mario Lemieux right now is an 86 overall. He should be an 87 automatically once December starts, or even now. I mean, realistically, they, they could still do it. It's early enough in the month where it wouldn't be too big of a deal. But to me, that is very important, and I really do believe 
uh, that would be making these cards more valuable and worth investing all the coins into because it does cost a lot, over a million coins. If you're investing that much into a card, you should know that they're going to go up because what if they don't go up for a long time and you see other hologram cards going up, you'll be like, wow, what did I invest in? Is this worth it? No, it's really not. So uh, I feel like that's, that's something I got to keep in mind. Obviously, the XP path is, you know, a huge reason why people are not happy and uh, it's been very frustrating, Hutt. So I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to say it right now. I are, there are some things I like. I, I like the fact that, you know, these 80 overall cards that can, you can max out, go up to 85. That's cool. You know, giving us free cards. Stop with the bronze plus players packs. We, we don't, there's nothing that we can do with bronze cards. What, what is that doing for us? Um, you have, um, I like the 87 Eichel, of course, at the end. That's great. But I'm going to say something too. The bonus packs here, they have to be significant, significantly better. If you finish the whole path and that's it you're opening these packs and they're worse than the tiers before. So you would think if you played that much, they'd be giving you some good stuff considering you finished the whole path, right? I'm sure most of you guys are not in the bonus yet. And if you are, you know, you're, you're, you're probably cooking. But my thing is this, guys. What I think they could include in the Season 2 XP path that would make it better is they should give you guys some X-Factor cards. You know, some of them that work towards the captains. Some Icon cards as well. And also some team builder cards. I'm not saying maxed out. I'm saying like give me give me like two or three X factors. You know, give me that's not even half the way to a captain. And I, and 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 then maybe three icons, right? And maybe three team builders, right? And you're still not even able to make one, right? Realistically, you should. I mean, it's like 60 days long the XP path. You should probably have enough stuff to make at least one hologram, one X factor captain, one team builder. But at least give me something that I can work with and work towards. I kind of like, I'm not going to lie. But the issue with Wildcard is it's skill-based matchmaking. I feel like it should just be open matchmaking for the most part. Um, yeah, I feel like that, that would be something. They have the missions here in Wildcard. Like I said, this is what they could maybe add into, into Rivals. That'd be cool, potentially. Um, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's not. It doesn't take too much time. Wildcard as well. And, and you get all the rewards. You get an X-Factor card. Like, it's it's not bad, Wildcard, to me. Um... I feel like uh, wild card. I think they should really try to improve the draft. Um, like you should be able to have a better team. I feel like it's foolish that you know we're playing with you know low low overalls. Like you know we're talking we're talking you know seventy sevens, seventy nines. Like we should be using pretty much all solid teams. I feel like at least. Um, but that's just my opinion on wild card. The thing guys I don't like is the fact that sets are all time now. You know I'm not really sure why all sets have a timer here. Um, I just feel like that is something, like, you can't make an MSP after the event ends. Like, I understand that for fantasy team of the year, team of the season, but if you can't make these cards before it expires, you're not going to be able to get them the rest of the year, which, you know, really hurts theme teams a lot as well, right? Like, if you could never make the Subban again, I'm a Devils fan, I'd like to have Subban on my team, I'm sure he'll get a higher rated card, but the idea is, you know, you're able, be able to make them maybe low-key, they're making it like this because, you know, if a guy gets a team of the season or a team of the year, you know, you can't just go make the, the set at that time, right? You know, so I, I don't know, that could be an idea, but I, I think they should remove that, I don't know. I feel like you should always be able to make you know, event cards, unless they're like cards that can get upgraded, right? Another thing is content. Content needs to be five days a week. I, I don't care. I don't care. And if you're not going to do five days, four. And Monday has to be a day there's content. You can't go four days without any content. To me, that's just insane. You know, you can't go, you know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That's crazy. That's crazy. There's nothing new getting added into Hockey Ultimate Team. No moments, you know, cards, objectives. That's just not, not good, in my opinion. It just makes it... There's no reason to log into the mode, I feel like, really. You know, there's nothing new to check out, nothing new to work on and play. You know, that that's kind of my only issue with that, right? Um, and it just doesn't feel like the days or our content is really enough. I mean, at least for me. I mean, I, I feel like there's there's a lack of cards that are coming out. You're not really representing, you know, all the leagues. Not many women cards have been released, although there are, you know, the USA and Canada women that are not really in hot right now for whatever reason. So that's totally, you know, that's not really their fault, but... In my opinion, I have ideas. I mean, I feel like Monday has to be content. You could have so much, so many cards. You could have your moments, milestone cards. Tuesday, you can get creative as well. But Tuesday, you don't you don't need content. I'll, I'll, I'll live with Tuesday having no content. Wednesday, you have team of the week. Tuesday, there's so many games. You could have, you know, moment cards, game breaker cards, whatever you want to call those. You know, that, that could be something, milestones, event cards as well, if you want to have some more of those. 
other leagues getting represented as well. That's also something that could be done. Um, I think Thursday could be a lot of fun. That could be your day to really have fun. Thursday could be like throwback, throwback Thursday. You know, that'd be really, really cool. Um, I feel like that'd be really cool, actually. And other things like Monday, for, ex for example. If you want to have like moments monday think about that moment monday guys so you're like oh wow so maybe there's not new cards coming out on monday but there's gonna be new moments there's gonna be new things to play whatever you know we don't know what they're gonna be but say that panarin card release that on a monday moment monday or tell me panarin work on the objective objectives on a monday that could be it you don't have to release cards but if you release moments and something for us that's new we'll be like hey you know what we'll check it out we'll play it you're gonna get more engagement to me that's a smart thing to do We'll see. We'll see. That's just my opinion on it, though. Um, Friday, of course, you have your event stuff. I mean, that's you can leave that, obviously. There's really no reason to adjust the event stuff. I like the event's fine. Um, but I think Thursday, you can do a lot of stuff. Like, remember, you guys remember Wacky Wednesday? That was funny, where they would just have, like, guys and, like, different like different stats. Like, I don't know. That was cool. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just spitballing, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know. Do you guys enjoy the game? I mean, be honest. Like, I mean, if I'm being too hard, be honest. Like, there are some things I like. I, I have to admit, I, I do like certain things about HUD. I'm not going to wild card. You know, I think wild card's a pretty chill mode. You get your nice, you know, decent rewards there. That's that's solid to me. Um, I feel like, I, again, I like champs cards being back. Like, there are some positives for sure. But I just feel like there's still, still, it's just not quite what we're looking for, you know, 100%. The market is way too expensive. People really don't have enough to make cards constantly. That's the other thing, too, with objectives. You don't get enough collectibles to make the card. And since there's timers, guys, as well, you're not able to like be like, hey, you know what? I want to see what week two has. So if, if I don't like a week two card, I can go ahead and make week one. Well, you can't. So you pretty much have to make the 80 overall MSP from week one if you might want that card to see. And then trade in you know, assets at that point for a card that you might not like because week two might have better cards. So it's just, it's a whole thing. But you guys can let me know in the comment section down below how you're feeling. I thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Please make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik. I'm live there every single day, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get three E's. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.